Guys that, um, what are you even doing here, man? Time and a place for that, and that's not now. We're trying to do a, a live baby. What? We're not going to do this now because I'm going to address the people and I'm going to address the cameras. We have an event. We don't have Okay. I understand. But I'm busy right now. Sorry, but you had your time here before. This is not your time now. We're done. So. We, uh, can we do something about this? Screw this. He wants to do this now. Let's do this now. You know what? Let's get the man a microphone. Yeah. Couldn't deliver him on the first event, so let's deliver him on the second event. Ladies and gentlemen, if you didn't know, this is Trey Miguel, okay? Yeah. They call you Trigger Trey, don't they? That's, that's your nickname around here. Well, you know what? Let's pull the trigger and shoot. Trey Miguel was booked to be on our first event last May. He shows up here tonight. Let's see. Call time was 2 o'clock. So that makes you five and a half months late. Thank you very much. You're right. I'm human, bro. I screwed up. Five months late, unacceptable. I get it. But that doesn't justify running your big flappy gums when I'm not around. You know what? Why are you acting like you care now all of a sudden? Why are you acting like this is a big deal now? This wasn't a big deal then. Because why weren't you here back then? Are, are you question like... Oh, you? What? No, no, don't, don't, ever, don't you ever question my intention or my passion for what I'm doing. Don't ever do that. These people are why I'm here. Yeah, I'm sorry I wasn't here. Shit happens, okay? I'm a busy professional wrestler and I travel all over this world. It was hard to make. It. You fell asleep in the back of a car and wound up in the wrong state. You quit on them, so I quit on you. Just like the other guy that didn't show up, who's too much of a coward to answer his phone. You're right. He's a coward. I'm not. I'm here now. I ended up in the wrong car. You know, you know how many guys I travel with? I don't. I live in Dayton, Ohio. I live in a dojo house filled with ten dudes. Filled with testosterone and everyone's competing with each other and all I have to do is hop in a car and travel to wrestle for 35 bucks and to get a freaking internet gift. You know what? I give damn less about what goes on in Dayton. I give damn less about everybody else in that car. Maybe that's why you fell asleep because you're surrounded by darkness because your head has been so far up Dave Chris' ass. But you haven't seen daylight in a year. So you can take your butt back to your little cult in Dayton and traipse around the country and leave me to do my business here. Okay, okay, okay. You want to know why I have my head shoved up Dave Chris' ass? Do you want to know what I've done in this past year? you want to know the waves I've created in professional wrestling? I have a name in professional wrestling because of guys like Dave Chris, guys like Jake Chris, guys like Sammy Callahan, guys like OI4K, guys like OBE that you see on Impact Wrestling, which I did debut on because I am under the wing of Dave Chris. So talk some more shit about him if you feel like that's necessary. Trey Miguel.
arch, right? So it comes down to, we've said our piece, you're here, I'm here, what do you want, why are you here now? Look, 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 look. please, 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 stop. Man to man. Stop. Man to man, I screwed up. I apologize. It's what I didn't say, so shut up. Joe, I am sorry. I understand as a businessman that this card is booked. There's not a budget for extra. And if there is, it's to pay the boys that are advertised to be here. I owe you, and I owe them. Let me rust. Give me something. Let me make it right, not just to you, but to every single one of them. Listen, my issue was never with you and how you handled yourself towards me. My issue was defending these guys out here. Because there's some of these guys that were, have been going to my shows for three years, five years, seven years. I just celebrated my 10 year anniversary of television up in here when we debuted Pro Wrestling Ohio, which became Prime Wrestling. So it's not up to me, I'm gonna put it up to them. Do you guys think we should give Trey Miguel a chance tonight? What do you guys think? What do you guys think? You know what? You want opportunity? You want a chance to prove yourself? There's another young gun back there who is always on me about wanting to prove himself and wanting opportunity. And his name is Sonny Vice. And I think Sonny Vice deserves a chance to showcase what he can do one-on-one -on -one in front of the world for the first time. So we'll make a match, we'll add a match, we'll get extra time, we'll do Trey Miguel versus Sonny Vice tonight, and we'll see what you bring to the table, and we'll see if you win, not me over, but we'll see if you win them over tonight. I know you're all about always being prepared. I know you know this business. I know you've got your gear out in the car. Suit up, you're on. Get a couple shots in, kid. Here's what it comes down to, guys, and this is the last I'll say on the subject. When we did our first event here, there were two people who canceled on this event on very short notice. One of them still will not return a phone call and still will not address the issue. The other didn't have to come here today. He could have stayed at home with his family that he barely gets to see because he's on the road almost every day of the week, but he chose to come here. And I respect that. He could have filled his bathtub with ice and just sat in there all day because I know his body is hurting. I know that he got ran through the rigors of the Mexican independent wrestling scene and I know he's nursing injuries. He could have taken an easy day off, but he chose to come here, not booked, not announced, no obligation because he felt he had something to prove. There's a reason I wanted him as part of this event back in May, and because in my opinion, Dayton over the past 18 months or so has become a hotbed for independent wrestling talent. It's become an epicenter, and in my personal opinion, Desmond Xavier has his TV contract. OI4K, OVE have their TV contract. I think this man's next in line. And it's not about you and me. It's not about politics. It's not about disagreements. It's about what it started to be about, what it should be about. It's about them. I ask you guys, did Trey Miguel earn your respect tonight? As far as I'm concerned, 
if they're okay with it, you're welcome back here anytime. Let's hear it for Trey. <laughs>